The belief in the last day, the day of judgment. And before this day occurs, there are many signs in which the Prophet ﷺ informed us about. One of these signs is the Mahdi. And the Mahdi is one of the signs that will occur towards the end. Who is he? What is he going to do? The Prophet ﷺ informed us that the final hour will not occur until the Mahdi comes forward. And he will fill up the earth with justice, just like it was filled up with oppression and tyranny. So he's going to fix up the corruption that will take place. We already see around us today so much corruption, so much evil, so much tyranny. The Prophet ﷺ also informed us saying that if there was only one day left for this dunya, Allah would extend this day to allow the Mahdi to come forward. So who is the Mahdi and what is he going to do? First of all, his name. The Prophet ﷺ said, his name will be like my name and his father's name will be like my father's name. So he will be Muhammad ibn Abdullah, Muhammad, the son of Abdullah. And not only that, the Prophet ﷺ informed that he is from Ahl al-Bayt. He is from the offspring of the Prophet ﷺ through his daughter Fatima radiallahu anha and her husband Ali. He will be from the offspring of Al-Hasan radiallahu anhu. And with this information that the Prophet ﷺ gave us, the Mahdi himself will not claim to be the Mahdi. He is not chasing leadership or power. It is when the people pledge their allegiance to him, this is when he becomes known as the Mahdi. Not before. Before, he's a righteous man, a knowledgeable man. He has the qualities of a leader, but he's not ready yet. And as the Prophet mentioned, Allah will prepare him in one night. So he'll be ready overnight. He already possesses the qualities, but he's not ready to come forward. He will be a leader. He will rule the Muslims. He will bring justice back to earth. And justice will only come through implementing the Sharia. And there will be many battles fought. And he will come from the east, as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned. And he will have those supporting him initially from the east. And this also refutes the belief of the Rafidah who believe the Mahdi is in a cave in Iraq and he's been there for over 1,000 years. Yani, what's he doing? This goes against the Quran, the Sunnah. It goes against logic, yet they fool the masses. In a cave for a 1,000 years. He's not, his name is not Muhammad ibn Abdullah. He's not, they don't even claim he's from the offspring of Al-Hassan. They say he's from Al-Hussein. If he's there, why doesn't he come out? Yani, isn't there corruption everywhere now? Come out. Speak, do something, no, he's waiting. Waiting for what? Who knows? So this is all fairy tales and nonsense. He will come at a time, there will be many earthquakes, many earthquakes. And this is one of the signs of the final hour that earthquakes will spread and the Dajjal will be out. How do we know this? Because when the Muslims are under his leadership, he will come to a sham. And then Isa will come down, alayhi salam. When the Muslims see Isa come down, the Mahdi and the Muslims are getting ready to pray. So they tell Isa to lead them in prayer. And Isa says, no. So imagine that. Isa alayhi salam. Yet he refuses to lead the Muslims in prayer and he lets the Mahdi lead them. And this is also a sign that when Isa returns, he's not coming to implement the Injil, he's coming to implement the Quran. He is going to be a follower of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Mahdi in his time, the state of the Muslims will change. And then Allah Azza wa Jal will bring out blessings to the Muslims like they have never seen before. Allah will command the skies to bring down the rain and to bring down the rain. And command the earth to bring out its fruit and vegetation and it will come out that there would be no one in need of anything. He would divide wealth equally amongst the people. And he will remain leading for seven or eight years, as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned. We said he will come from the east. 
and he will continue and make his way to Mecca. He will already have his followers with him. But when he gets to Mecca, this is when he becomes known to all the Muslims. And they will all go to pledge their allegiance to him. He is a sign of the final hour.